Hey, this is Lee Cruz, unemployed comic, and you're watching Ego's Last Stand. When I come around, got the whole thing wobbing. Welcome back to another episode, a special episode of the Ego's Last Stand. My name is Josh Arm, and with me, as always, is my axe to my handle, <laughs> my itch to a grind, uh, my bucket to milk. I don't know. Brandy Nicole. I'm here. I'm here. I'm your bucket. <laughs> Welcome, as always, Brandy. I hope you're doing okay. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, today we have a very special guest. Uh, Nate Bargetzi is here with us. Nate, welcome. Yo. And, uh, yo, yo, yo. Right. Dude, just freestyle. It's like, down. yeah, just ease, just ease it up. Yeah, thanks for having me, man. Dude, I tell you. Second appearance, right? This absolutely. Is my, yeah, 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 killing yeah. it. Am I your first second appearance? No, you, actually, you were. No. Time, yeah. well, no, no, actually, uh, Lee Cruz uh, oh. came on. He was on the last one, too. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, you know, you're, you're the second. Se second to the second appearance. Second, yeah. You're, yeah. You're, you're, what is that? Cube? No, squared. Yeah, uh, yeah. Squared, yeah. yeah. You're, you're, you're two squared. Yeah. yeah. I'd be a good rap name. Yeah. Yeah. Two squared. Two squared. Yeah. Does somebody have that already? Two chains. I'm sure. Two chains. <laughs> Been a, a weekend full of like just sold out shows. It was wonderful. Just okay. got done. Uh, yeah, it was good because it was. Uh, I haven't done. You know, it's been since the end of June since I've done a weekend of shows. So it was nice to kind of refresh and uh, start doing stuff. Sometimes when you take a break, it's actually good. For, like I, like this weekend was good. I was able to expand on some jokes we were just talking about uh, yeah. i'm very happy about that's the most exciting thing in the world yeah yeah especially when it's something that you enjoy talking about like it's not it's like uh it's just something dumb i like dumb thing like when this <laughs> when the joke when the stuff's like dumb like it's not like about your wife or it's not about your yeah. it's just like random whatever yeah uh and when those can expand that's pretty fun no totally absolutely. and uh, of course the crowds absolutely love you uh, you're pretty excited about this pilot that you got coming up. Yeah. Yeah. So we just, that's what I came from shot it Wednesday. Uh, and so, uh, they came here and so it's, it was, uh, it was awesome. It was an amazing time. Uh, very overwhelming, you know, uh, How so? just because you're, I mean, you're, you know, when you start, like I'm a, I'm a Seinfeld, Seinfeld's like my guy. So you want right. to make sign, you know, He's everybody's guy, but like you know, what I mean, like you want to be that. Like I was like, I wanted that. I wanted a sitcom and you know, be a stand-up comedian on it. And so we got to shoot that, and uh, we did it. I mean, who knows if it will get picked up or not? But we we when you made the pilot, like you know, we did it all this week. It was this whole big long process. This has been like two years of this show. That's been told no twice. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. So it was, it just was like very overwhelming to like see all the, uh, uh, yeah, you know, like I remember like the night we taped the live audience, like acting, like it was like, I was opening the, the garage door to go into the kitchen of the house and it was just like looking at that door. Uh, I mean, I'm, I, I would almost cried. Like it was, cause it was like, you're just like, golly, like this is, uh, real stuff. Yeah, it's real. Yeah. And it's like crazy to see it. Like it's really crazy to see it. Like, like when you're doing it, come to fruition. Like everything. Yeah, because you're yeah. just like you're on the road, you're doing all this stuff, and it just seems impossible. Like everything seems impossible. Even do, whenever you know when you first do late night. I mean, it was impossible. Like you're just like I don't know how to get on that late right. night, and then you do it, and then so like the first ones you're like I can't believe I'm here. Like you can't walk out. My first one was Conan, and you're like that's Conan. He's right there. He's right. gonna watch He's me do right stand up, yeah. and then Fallon, and like all that. And so then you start like moving and so this going to a pilot with shooting a you know an acting in it uh i've never done acting so it was like doing that side of thing i have the my parents are the parents from that 70s show so it's like you know them the white my wife on the show is katie azelton from the right. league and uh so it's all these people that you know and you're like now they're just like Standard saying yeah. my name and my family's name isn't that weird it's weird it's uh yeah, it was a pretty, it was, it was intense. It was cool, though. Yeah, and, and you, you've been married a long time, and your, your wife's watching you. Did she watch you any, any of the set, like when oh, you're, yeah. you're kissing your TV yeah, wife? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we had, uh, she had to watch it uh, the, the tape night, and we had to do that scene specifically because we were kind of, it was the end, and we were changing it. And you kind of change stuff on the fly. Like, you're kind of, like, doing it, and then you're like, this ending's not working, and you have a writers are all there. Uh so they kind of would just come out and like tell you like hey try like say this instead of this and yeah. they're kind of mixing it up and so we kind of kept having to do this last 
it was just this last scene of like looking up at the parents and then you know she's like babe we're a team or something and yeah. i'm like i say babe we're a team whatever it is and uh <laughs> then we kiss and we had to do it and my uh my wife said she almost yelled cut like just to, <laughs> like just over the she's like cut we got it yeah. like, you know let's That's wrap enough. it up and you're like huh? who said that it's not the director uh <laughs> She's like, I'll cut a bitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's weird. It is weird. It's something we, t I mean, I talked to my wife about it. Like, we, yeah, you know, actors, I think, are very used to it. Like, sure. yeah. and I think you get used to it. Like, it's acting. It's not like it's, right. you know, but it's, it is. But when you're first doing it, yeah, it's, it's insane. And then it's just, it's, uh, it's the whole night is overwhelming. My name is on everything. Her bar, her last name is on everything. It's on scripts. It's on uh, t shirts, hats. Like, it's right. all this stuff. So it's like, just an overwhelming night of just like almost information like a different kind of thing yeah and so it's uh yeah it's intense dude that's fucking awesome yeah yeah it's i mean look it's, it's it's everything you want i mean you want i want this show to go more than anything dude and all of us like really want to see yeah. that for you too yeah thank yeah. you yeah yeah it's uh yeah everybody's very nice everybody's rooting for you, you just you know you get so nervous now because you're like you could be like we i we, we all i can do is what i was happy with is is, is I, I gave them what I would have uh, wanted. Like, there's nothing I would take back. I wouldn't cast anybody different. I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't have changed the script up any different. I like we got the jokes that we got in. It just went perfect. It went. Yeah, it went as as, as perfect as I think I can give yeah. them a product. And so you're can at least walk away. Be like, if you say no to this, then I almost don't even know what I would give you. Yeah. I, they, I think you're just gonna say no to me completely. Yeah. Like, but but they say no to people all the time. They do, but I mean, you know, you figure they're not going to blow all this money that they because they, they had to. You hope so. It's a ton of money to <laughs> yeah. do a pilot. Pilots are, yeah, I don't. It's like three, four million dollars. Like pilots cost. Yeah. Uh, so, but they do, they do, but they don't want to. Right. That's why it's so hard to get to a pilot. What I learned in this. So what you do, if anybody doesn't, the process is, you you pitch a script to uh, networks. Like you, you, like you have some producers, you have people involved, so you pitch the idea. And then if they want that, they will then pay you to write a script. That's where money is like yeah. kind of thrown around a little bit. And I think guys can make, I mean, you can, A, you can write scripts for free. Yeah. And you can, like Netflix, you write a script for free. You write the whole like first episode out. Yeah. And then they just either pick it up or they don't. Right. But networks, as they do pilots, I mean, you can make 10 grand to 100 grand to write a script, like whatever, or maybe more if the writer's big yeah. enough. Yeah. Uh, but that's the money that they throw around a little bit, like where it's yeah. like, we'll give you this money. And they, because they, they do, they, you know, I mean, they probably listen to hundreds of pitches. Sure. And then it's like 40 scripts they buy. Right. And then it's like 10 pilots. And then maybe two of those make it to air. Wow. So it's, it's that. Oh, the odds on. of it are zero. Almost. <laughs> like, I mean, the amount of pitches that they hear, it's, I mean, it's almost zero. Yeah. yeah. The amount of shows that, like, are, you know, it's, it's just impossible to get it on so but the scripts are you know to sell a script is like that's one thing yeah but then i this is my first pilot so i see why it's so hard to get to a pilot because the commitment to a pilot is so much more commitment wow they're spending that three four million dollar what two million whatever it is sure. five, yeah. like and they're they're spending all this money and and they, so at that point everybody does want the show to work well yeah like they you know but casting usually holds i think we casted very good and that was a no, great you, you, you've got amazing actors we do. in there. That, that's awesome. You believe us as a family. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, the the parents, uh, you know, Deborah Joe Rupp and Kurtwood were just so good. And they're they're just seasoned. Uh, and they just, they've had, a, they've been on a show before. And their characters are so different. Yeah. Kurtwood's been that around a long, shows. Yeah, Kurtwood's uh, been around yeah, a long time. Robocop. He, he, yeah. was in, <laughs> right. he was in Star Trek. Star yeah. Trek 6. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He played uh, the president. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's, uh, dude, he's awesome. Oh, yeah. Uh, and so everybody's just so good. And uh, we got a great director, Drew Goddard, who's a, who, who, it's kind of crazy for him to even be doing this because he directed like, he wrote directed like Bad Times at Air Royale that just came out, Cabin in the Woods. Gotcha. Uh, the, he did The Martian with Matt Damon. Like, That's he's been nominated for an Oscar. Fantastic movie, too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That really so, is. Like, I've seen that movie probably 50 times, and, I, like, once it's on, I can't stop watching it. Right. I was, I told movies. them when they, when they were, like, because, so you have a, like, when you're doing those live shows, they have a, a comic, Mark Sweet, 
is uh he's the audience warm-up guy been doing it for years yeah, yeah. and uh they have to they do a bunch of like games with them and like yeah. for the audience because it's four or five hours oh yeah like yeah. a taping is yeah i've been so, to the taping too. yeah and so but they, they're very fun and like whatever yeah you know and usually people are pretty cool about it like i think you go into it you know you're it's you're, a day, it's a day. <laughs> yeah but you're seeing the taping and that's you know people yeah. have never seen it they don't see how it works and it is cool i mean i was yeah. like i watch it like yeah. just being like uh, but they were, he was listening to Drew's credits and all that bad, bad times at Oriel. You know, all these, like, big movies. <laughs> and, right. And then he's, like, directing this multicam. And, like, it sounds like you, like, have, it, like, a DUI or something. Like, and, like <laughs> you're just trying to get back in the game. <laughs> he's like, oh, now I'm doing a network TV show. Uh, but he is a guy that's, like, he can kind of do whatever he wants to do. And... Uh, he just likes to work with people that he wants to work with. I and mean, he, he wants to do different things, yeah. which is like such a great way to do something is like, he's like, well, I've never done a TV show. So why would I not want right. to sure. try it? Like, yeah. And, uh, so yeah, we got a lot of, we'll see what happens, man. I don't know. Did, uh, you, did you get a chance to sit down and talk with him or? Oh yeah. We we're pretty good friends now. Like oh, he, that's, uh, that's awesome. yeah, yeah, yeah. He came on, he was a fan of, I got, we got lucky that he came on cause, uh, he was a fan of mine and uh, without me knowing and then wanted to do something in TV with this. And uh, so then him and we, I went, to, we went to Universal with his kids and my daughter. And oh, wow. uh, yeah. so we, we, yeah, we, me and him will talk. I mean, I told him he'll never get rid of me. <laughs> uh, I'll talk to him for the rest of my life. And so we're, yeah, we got very close. That's awesome. And yeah. is he a Vandy fan or no? He's uh, he's from New Mexico, but he lives in, uh, uh, out there. So yeah, he's a, like a I think he grew up in Lakers. He's a big Lakers fan. Like I like the NBA a lot too. Very good into sports. Like that's a good thing. Yeah. You talk sports with him, you know, uh, and knows about sports. So uh, yeah, and he, yeah. He we shot we shot a trailer. We shot the opening. We shot at Nashville. We came down to Nashville and shot it all day. And it I saw I saw, I saw some of that. And it's unbelievable. I mean, it's just, it's unbelievable. Like, it's just me walking through the city. And, That's awesome. Uh, it's very, very cool. Yeah. Dude, I, wa I want to see this yeah. bad. <laughs> I know, man. Now, it's, you, uh, said, you said you had some, like, little clips and stuff, right? Uh, I uh, have one clip, but I, I cannot. I can show, I'll show you no, the clip. No, like, can, off, off camera. Off yeah, camera, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. I'd love to see it because I think that's oh, it's, Yeah, it's like, uh, they keep it locked down. Like, for well, editing. You, you got to. Yeah, it's it's interesting. Like you can't do pictures of what you're wearing in the show. Like you That's can't wild. even like uh, if you post a picture of you in your wardrobe in the show. Yeah. Like they they can get, they get mad about that because it's all about like everybody wants to you know it's about seeing it's like stand up. Like sure. so in stand up, you know if like you've heard this joke before, it's not yeah. going to go good. Right. But yeah. if you I need you to not hear it, and then it will right. go great. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, and so it's like that kind of thing. So. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, I, 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 when I first was there, I posted, like, all this stuff. I was, like, walking Whoops. around, like, the stage, and then they're like, yeah, you can't, can't do be doing that. And I was like, all right. Uh, <laughs> so we, but, like, for editing, we will do, uh, I, I might have to go out there. Like, they, you know, and they do it. You have to do it, like, on site uh, to put it together and stuff. So, yeah. But now, you were saying that the wardrobe is pretty lucrative in there with like the things yeah like yeah it's great they do uh yeah i just I, I took a pair of shoes <laughs> i don't know if they're gonna they uh, find like, out yeah. this is how they find out <laughs> like I'm, I'm mailing those shoes back i, I think you'd be okay uh, yeah <laughs> they uh the wardrobe they get yeah you get i mean i was wearing what i I'm, in the episode i'm wearing something that i wear all the time right so it's funny some of it's like literally they're buying they just go buy what you already have so yeah. it's like they're not straying from you as a character at all not f no i i did two uh we open and close with some stand-up and so i'm wearing two outfits in that that i'd wear on stage and Love so that Mr. was different Rogers sweaters yeah <laughs> yeah i come in and change i change, I change tennis shoes like mr right. Rogers. Oh, right. yeah. now, uh, can, can you can you talk about it all with your your character in the show or you can't talk about it uh it's just me i mean the show is based on uh it's it's based on my life i'm playing a stand-up comedian uh we moved back we moved from los angeles back to nashville where i'm from uh to raise our daughter my parents live in nashville all that's real and then the one thing that is different is that my wife is from California in the show. My wife's from not in real yeah. life. She's from Alabama. But we had her be from California just to have, you know, you just need that balance of, like, having, yeah. like, someone from somewhere else. So when she comes back to Nashville, it's like she's in, she's kind of a fish out of water. Yeah. And, sure. Uh, 
Uh, but we ever like wanting to move, you know, I, I wanted the, the wife character to be very strong. Like she has to be able to stand up against these parents yeah. and I want her to want to move to Nashville. I didn't want it to be like, she's dragged to Nashville. Like she's excited about it. Yeah. Sure. And you know, which is something like the excitement of people moving away from LA is like, it's a big thing. A lot right. of people talk about it when we were, when we were pitching the show, I mean, people were like, me and my husband talk about moving all the time just cause it's so expensive there. And like, yeah. and, and now you can t- tend to like. Nashville is kind of blowing up, and so Absolutely. you can tend to not have to live in L.A. You know, I mean, it's, like, insane. Like, what, you know, you buy a house in L.A., Nash- what you can get, like, a million-dollar home in Nashville is a mansion, and then yeah. a million-dollar home in L.A. is, like, a shack. yeah, it's nothing. Shack. And, uh, so it's, you know, it's kind of showing that kind of stuff. So that's basically just what the show would be. I mean, it's not like there's any big twist. It would be <laughs> a big, you know, and everybody loves Raymond type of show. Like right. parents, kids, families, relationship, a lot of stuff about my act, a lot of stuff that, uh, a lot of stories I tell my act will be in the show and, I can't uh, wait. I we can't would do it. See it. Yeah. It'd be, uh, it'd be fun. I mean, you know, we're, we're hopeful. Oh, I, I'm, I'm, pretty confident that i think they'll, they'll grab that they got to <laughs> man they, it's, I, it I sounds mean, amazing you hope, so. yeah. you hope so i we feel we feel very good about it but you just never i mean it's like uh you know they've told i mean dude they've told like matt damon tried to produce a show once they told him no they tell people no all the time yeah. if matt damon wants to be in a show they're not gonna say no right but if he's just like a name on it, i pitched two shows with fallon producing and they said no yeah uh and that was when he was Switching from the to the Tonight Show. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they say no to people all the time. But that being said, we have a, we have a great cast. I great think we did a great product. Great director. Yeah. Showrunner was amazing. Uh, Danielle Sanchez and uh, so it, it, we just have a lot of we did have a lot of things. I think they're rooting for it. My career's in a good place for something like this to happen. Sure. Yeah. There's a lot of positive things around it, but. You know, I mean, you made you it still to never podcast, know. so you did I it. Got on this. You did got it. On this. this pilot led to this. Uh, the yeah. pilot, the whole culmination. Right it now. all came together. Right. I was like, "Where's he at on the pilot? I don't know if we can cancel him in." <laughs> come, yeah, come you're come like, in. "Did they shoot it?" I mean, let's shoot it, and then we'll see if he's available. I mean, I mean he's co- he's coming to you from a green room in a comedy club. Yeah. I mean, yeah. come on. Just got off stage. Yeah. Just got off stage. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I like. Okay. Uh, yeah. It's you know, fun to be. Oh, well, part of your act, you, you talk about, you know, you said you're not good at acting. Like, I, I know switching from doing comedy mm. to acting. I mean, it, like, it, what kind of an adjustment was that for you? It, it was definitely different. Like, so one thing I mentioned, I said it on stage, but, like, I look down a lot, and I look down when I tell jokes. Yeah. Right. And uh, I don't think I've ever really noticed it. I don't know if it's a, like, I, I don't know if I'm subconsciously doing it, but, like, I, I notice it now because it got brought up. So when I was acting, I would tend to look down when I would deliver the lines. Yeah. And, like, you don't have a mic on you. So like they're like you can't look down right. like you know, uh, and I mean they had they they would like the whole time was like <laughs> would be like hey so that was re- that's a real, oh yeah they like you gotta look up man you gotta look up like and they keep and so I started even like on stage tonight or this weekend I was like trying to like kind of be a little conscious of it like trying to make myself like I'm trying yeah. to train myself to like look up because I'm realizing how much I look down and I'm like well it comes from the stage and so. Yeah. That's where I'm at the most. So it's like if I cannot look down on that stand-up stage, right? Then I won't do it acting. Yeah. Because like this is where I'm learning it. Sure. And so now, like I've this weekend, I was trying to like anytime I've caught myself, yeah, I look up. I I, I think you do it as a comic just because it's you're looking at people the whole time. That's so there's weird. no break. Yeah. Right. And so you kind of like when you look down is like your only. It's like a reset. Yeah. It's like yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's like a reset, and you can like. And you're like, all right, next joke. And then right. you're and then into it. Yeah, it's almost you're like you're saying, all right, we're done with that. Now a, look back up. Yeah, and it's almost like a nonverbal yeah. cue. You're yeah. Like, yeah. And you can use it, you know. It just was funny to be like, I can't believe that translated. I yeah. mean, there's like, so we had a live audience. And so doing, you know, I was always told like multicam. So I, if everybody, multicam is like a live audience. Single cam is, mm-hmm. that's on you, if anybody doesn't know. But like single cam is uh, uh you know, like the office, the office yeah, yeah. single cam Seinfeld is multicam. Uh, so with the live audience, you perform and you react to the laughs and you wait for the laughs. Like you would wait for a stand-up show. Yeah. Sure. So if you have a scene and you're sitting there and someone gets a big laugh, you both have to stand and like wait for that <laughs> laugh. And so it was pretty interesting to re I'm used to reacting to my own laughs on stage. I know the timing of that sure. when yeah. I deliver the joke, yeah. but it's interesting to hear someone else deliver a joke to you 
and then you wait for someone else's like yeah the the timing of theirs like you're both like kind of just sitting there and you kind of sit in the laughter and then you then you say yeah. whatever you're saying after uh so it was that was like very interesting uh you know we had a had a act had an acting coach uh this guy John Ennis in there and uh he uh, did acting with him I, we did acting I mean every week uh with him uh leading up to it just kind of getting me used to it like really like learning a script was a big part like memorizing sure. yeah. all this stuff yeah it's like 44 pages i think and i'm in every scene and uh and then i had a dialect coach on uh, and he would kind of like when How we're doing it that? very interesting and he's <laughs> his name's ren but like, he's unreal yeah. he's unbelievable I, he, i've met some dialect coaches it's Wild, it's pretty wild. Yeah. They so he knows how to like do stuff. He can make you cry. Like he knows how to like make you take a breath and like, like he knows how. Like he was telling us like this drama scene where he was with some actor, and he deals with like all these just the most famous people, and he's it's a is a real alpha male actor, and he's having to do a scene with uh, and cry in the scene, and they're like they can't get him to cry. Yeah. Like he's just a dude that's like a dude. Yeah. And so he was like, well, tell him to take a breath. Like after, uh, like right after, like after he says this line, yeah. And then he had him do it, and then he cried, and so it was like that was like a way to like it was just like a way to almost like your body. I don't even he just studies it so much. Like he knows the physiological. Yeah, 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 of how to like make you do it. So he was like for me, uh, I didn't cry. I didn't have to cry. It'd be <laughs> weird to be crying in a multi game sitcom. It was a comedy, uh, but I would have trouble with words. So with my accent and I can mumble and say stuff. It's like, so like, like we'll be right back. Like if we're, if we're going to say, we'll be right back. Like W E L L. Yeah. Like we will, uh, being in the South, we almost put an R in there. Like we'll be right back. Like, yeah. so we kind of say it with an R. So when the sound people listen to the thing, they will, the audio will be like, well, we don't know what he's they're like. What is that word? What's yeah. he saying? So in my script, if there was any, we wills or wills mm-hmm. like, I would, he would just write W I L L. He's like, just say will like, so, and I would just say, we'll be right back. Yeah. And like, and then we'll be right back. And then now I'm saying it correctly. So it's like weird stuff like that where you're like, they do it like almost like phonetically. Yeah. Like phonetic, the, and they just spell it different to be like, just say this word yeah. instead of that word. You do, like, cause I'm messing up that word or like one was like, feel, feel like, and he's, he's having <laughs> me say like eel. He's like, say eel, like eel, like an eel. Yeah. He's like eel, eel. Yeah. Like that. And he's yeah. like, just feel like, and then, cause I can say feel like, you know, <laughs> it's like I feel accent. bad. Yeah. And like, yeah. And then someone's like, I don't know. This is a maniac saying like, and so he's like, how, how would you say an eel? And he just writes E E L. And he's like, I was like, eel. And he's like, yeah, feel like, you know? And so it's like, but it's like little stuff like that, that you just wouldn't think of. Yeah. Cause I'm, you're just acting. You I'm just talking how I talk. Right. Right. Uh, you know, articulate like practices. I would like listen to that as like this five minute thing of just you know being like rubber baby buggy, the red leather, yeah. yellow leather, like <laughs> saying all that kind of stuff over again. Wow. And it really, he can tell if you he could tell if I didn't do it before I came in. Like yeah. I couldn't even lie to him about it. He'd be like, "Did you listen to it?" And I'd be like, "Yeah." And then he's like, "No, no you didn't," because he can tell. Like you know, you just start. You know, he's not he's not trying to take my accent away. Yeah. But he's just like, you got to say these words a little, you know, you got to get them out because they're going to make me come back in and be like, yeah, I will be right. But, you know, yeah. and then they try to put it over it. And it's just kind of right. weird. Like, dude, I tell you what, man, I am absolutely thrilled you sat down with us. Really, absolutely. Yeah. We really absolutely. appreciate it, man. Thanks for making it super easy for me. <laughs> no, that, that was very nice. <laughs> absolutely. And, you know, we've had a ball with you all weekend long. Hopefully we'll see you back here soon. But dude, yeah. we wish you luck with that podcast or podcast with yeah. the fucking. <laughs> well, 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 that's what I'm gonna. This well, this pilot isn't gonna be going. I will be doing fucking, a podcast. I'm fucking tired. All right. Fuck yeah. you. All right. <laughs> we wish you the best of luck though with that Thanks, pilot. Thanks, buddy. And, dude, we're gonna be hoping that we're gonna see it on, on air, and I want to see it. You know, yeah. I'm dying to see it, and I can't wait to so. see the little sneak peek. Hopefully sneak you'll peak. you'll yeah. you'll show us and yeah. And I, I won't. I, I promise I won't. Yeah, and Brandy, promise. We won't t- promise. Yeah, <laughs> who knows? Up in the air. This could all bring me down. Yeah, Tennessee Morning. Cut to I'm doing a press conference and be like, I didn't know that she was going to show that to everybody. I don't know. There, there'd be no press conference. But I like to imagine I would give a press conference. I sure yeah, would. I'd, yeah. I'd be at there. I'd be like, Nate, Nate. Yeah, hey. It's there? just us. <laughs> it'd be like the ball guy. I don't yeah. remember. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> 
Well, we appreciate it, man. Absolutely. You got man. any final thoughts? Anything you want to put out before we uh, cut off? No. Big tour. The rest of the tour starts this fall. In a couple of weeks, good problem to have. And tour. they can find out tour information. It's all on my website, all posted everywhere, you know. Well, just do whatever you would do to find out this stuff. That's it. That's At this it. point, you're like, just, just figure it out. I and mean, if you can't figure it out, to be honest, I don't know if you should be coming. Yeah, you, you probably don't if, belong yeah. on the internet at that point. Yeah, right? if you're yeah. like, how do I get to, you're like, yeah. just, yeah, just, no. you can find, you can, yeah. It's just, no, keyword. don't just come. Just no. Just don't come. <laughs> just don't come. <laughs> All right, man. Well, thanks again. Yeah. And uh, for Nate Bargetti and Brandon Nicole, I'm Josh Sawyer. Thanks very much. Guys.